This is the steering wheel of a Formula One racing car. Admittedly, this one here has 76 years under its belt and comes from an era when a Formula One race was still like riding a cannonball. The drivers worked extremely hard in their racing machines, but one thing was clear, the wheel was here for steering and nothing else. Today, Mercedes GP Petronas driver Michael Schumacher still uses a steering wheel, of course, to direct his silver arrow. However, what he has in his hands is more like a high-tech command center. Teammate Nico Rosberg gives us an insight into this key tool of their trade. Just fire away altogether. Okay. So this is it. Well then, this here is my Formula One steering wheel. It's certainly pretty complicated and you definitely need a bit of time to get used to it. As you can see, it's like a NASA control center here on the wheel. Let me explain it a bit. First of all, here in the middle are all the rotary switches. This is the differential for coming out of corners. Here you've got the differential switch for going into corners. So you can actually set them separately. And then here there's the mid-corner differential, here. So three differential switches in all. Then there's also, oh sorry, the fourth differential switch, I almost forgot it. This one's for fast corners. So four differential switches. And we can change them from lap to lap, or even during a lap from one corner to another. Circuits like Monte Carlo, where you're constantly turning the wheel and hardly have any time to relax, are certainly much more demanding, especially when you've also got controls on the steering wheel itself. You've certainly got to have your wits about you as you're driving. But it was never any different. In the past, I wasn't just constantly turning the steering wheel, but also knobs on it to adjust settings. Then here you've got mix. That sets how the fuel goes into the engine. You can set it to be thicker or thinner. Here you've got the bite point, that's to set the clutch, how it bites and its position. The engineers tell us that, we can't know it ourselves. And here's the main menu switch. You can use it to adjust the front wing, which you can set yourself up or down. And for tire settings, which you've got to change whenever you go from slicks to wets. And then a few other things that don't get used that much. Now it's onto all the other buttons, which you can also use an awful lot. Radio button, press it once and you can start chatting away. Press it again to end. Fox, Fox, pit confirm. Push hard to the next pit stop, please. Pit lane, speed limiter in the box. The limiter, you've got to hit that whenever you enter the pit lane. And there's then a kind of break so you don't go over 100 kilometers per hour. On, off, that's for if you've got a problem on the car. You can then turn off the sensors yourself from the steering wheel. Because if one sensor starts to go crazy, it's possible that the whole car will suddenly start to do the same. So then you turn the sensor off. While nothing then gets sent to the telemetry anymore, it's better with it off, as you can then at least carry on and finish the race. Then here you've also got pit confirm. When they say come into the pits, you press that and then the lights go on everywhere in the pit garage itself so that all the mechanics know at once that the car's coming in. So that was the front and then there's even more buttons. But they're a secret. <laughs> so that was my steering wheel. I hope it was interesting. Then on we go. So, 